So this is something that took me a while to figure out. How to get a parent game object to move to the position and rotation of a child game object. Now, I've searched the internet for a solution, but I haven't been able to find one, so I thought I'd make a tutorial about it. So, use this script by adding it to the parent game object, then assigning the field to the child, which is here. Then you can move the child, like this, and when you push keypad 0, it'll move the parent to the position and rotation of the child, regardless of the initial position or rotation. This is intended to be triggered by some other event, like every frame if you need it to follow the child, or on trigger enter to align it with something. The possibilities are endless, or something like that. Now I've put the link to go download this script in the description so you can play with it on your own, and for the rest of the video I'm going to be explaining a bit about how it works. So in the awake method it keeps track of the original local position and rotation, and here in the update method we actually have the logic for it. Now I've divided it up into six steps, each triggering when you push a keypad number. Step one is pretty simple, it moves the parent to the child's position. Step two is where it gets complicated. It basically undoes the relative rotation of the child so it would be zero if it hasn't moved, and so when its rotation changes it can go past that and it will be in the correct orientation. Just trust me, it works. Step 3 sets the parent's rotation to the child's rotation, which is now the correct rotation because of step 2. Step 4 subtracts the original position from the parent. Without this, the parent would end up where the child currently is rather than offset from the parent like it should be. And step 5 and 6 just reset the local position and rotation. So it should look something like this. You start it and you move the child like this, and then if you press 0, it should follow it. And you can see what's happening at each step if you press keypad 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And one last thing to note is I believe the parent's scale has to be set to 1, or else some weird stuff will happen. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's it.